Hi, this is Leah from Mommyish, and today I have a short tutorial, tutorial, I can't even talk, tutorial, on how, how to recolor um, the scribble layer style. So I'm going to just start with text. Um, I have it on Century Gothic. I'll go for bold, make it kind of large and in charge. I'm going to just say hello. Um, make it a little bit bigger. So there we are. Hello. Now what we're going to do is just apply one of the styles. I'm going to use the black one just because it'll be easier for you to see on this particular paper. And as you can see, it's seamless and awesome. So I'm just going to rasterize this layer style. That's going to be the first step to recoloring. Uh, in PSC, it's simplify. So here, rasterize layer style and CS. Then um, you can either double click on your layer, which will pull up our layer style box, then go to color overlay and choose whatever color you want. So it could be pink or purple or any color you want. Gray, you know, have fun with it. You could also use a gradient over it um, if you wanted to <laughs> to play. You know, we like have all these crazy gradient things. It's psychedelic. All right. Um, no, <laughs> it's not for me. It's not for me. But uh, anyway, <laughs> so that's one way. The next way is to create a layer above it you're going to clip that layer to the layer underneath. In Photoshop Elements, I believe it's Control G, I could be wrong, and CS it's Control Alt G. So Control Alt G or Control G will clip the layer to the layer below it, and then just flood fill that layer in with any color that you are wanting it to be. And I guess you could actually clip paper to it too if you wanted to, just anything you want. Just like that. And then once you're done, just merge those layers together, and you have a new element or title or or whatever you want. Um, for those of you who are scrappers, another little trick, especially if you're um, using this on a light colored background and you want it to feel more um, like part of the paper, is you can change this uh, layer, the uh, blend mode, to make either linear burn or multiply. See? And that way you, it's more like you drew over the paper with, you know, maybe like a a gel pen or, or something like that that wouldn't be completely opaque. That's multiply. See? So it looks a little more realistic. Yay! Um, anyway, so that's my little tip trick uh, for the day and how to recolor the this specific style set um, to do whatever you want to do with it. I can't wait to see how you guys use it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.